this is also a quick tutorial so basically I create a table in PG admin in PostgreSQL so right now I need to modify that table so if you are going here so let's see yeah all rows I have student ID last name first name and email how I will mention a primary key there that's the uh, yeah today's problem is how I can mention that if you are going here you can see that or what I have in my columns so you can see everything student ID last name first name and email I need to alter my table to add a primary key so here you can see in constraints I didn't have anything so I am going to add something into constraints that's I am going to do here so I am uh, going to do from my uh, using the query tools probably you can create from here primary key whatever you can do from here uh, in graphical interface but it will not make any sense so sometimes you need to work on other database so you need to know uh, Cori in using Cori how we will do that so we are in uh, yeah we are in Cori Cori tool so I am just uh, taking my alter table command alter table which table I need to alter student and what I need to do add primary key So I have student ID. So just mention that student ID here, and uh, need to execute, query execute successfully. And if I am just mentioning like an invariant one, what is going to happen? Just check that too. So column uh, std for relation student does not exist. So if you refresh here, you can see student ID, student primary key already here. So this way we can modify this one. And also we can give a name also. If I'm just dropping this one. Delete or drop. Yeah, I'm going to delete that one. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm using constraint parameter this way also I can add and uh, I'm giving a name like PK student or something primary case student then I'm doing the same thing student ID I have so I'm going to execute again so it's given me the result the query executed successfully so this way we can do that so we can give our own name like pk student or whatever we need using the constraint parameter but uh, we need only this part the constraint constraint is optional so that's where we can do everything also i will show you another thing so if i'm just shopping here and uh, drop table alter table so I, i'm not going to alter drop my table i'm going i'm just copying this to statement here what i am going to do is i need to drop my primary key so drop primary key how it will work that's my question so I'm going to execute so there is no way I can execute partially I guess maybe I will command out this one so I just command out that one and I'm going to execute this one drop primary key
so they are saying like I have a primary key draw primary key everything is fine but it's not going to work so what I'm going to do is I have a constraints parameter so constraint pk student so I will use that one instead of this one so this is not case sensitive so it's a case insensitive and I am going to run that so right now I got the result so if I am just uh, refreshing here I can see this one so uh, another way we need to check is so I am going to alter table again I'm going to alter table again and I'm going to add I'm not using the constraints and uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a student ID as a primary key and so it's partially execute it's not partially executed so uh, I need to comment out this section before running this one so right now right now it's successfully created and I have student PK that's all uh, yeah that's a, uh, a constraint created by PostgreSQL itself but what I need right now is I need to comment out this one and I need to drop using primary key syntax so I'm just giving this one instead of constraints I don't want to give the constraints right now so so it's saying there is an issue with the this one so basically I guess in this condition it will only work work with the or the drop will only work with the constraint not with the primary key itself so that's where we can create a primary key and a delete a primary key so our topic for today I was to uh, familiarize with how we will create a primary key using the query tool so you can use this same to the mysql ms sql whatever we have so next video i will go through some other topics some other queries that's all for today thank you for watching